So today we're going to do something a little different. Um, I've got this ID A4, B5, B5.5, A4 convertible, and uh, the wheels on it are, they're garbage. <laughs> Every one of them's got road rash on them. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to rip these wheels off, uh, get them basically cleaned, um, do tire remover on them, stuff like that. Just get them as clean as we can get them. Uh, we're going to start prepping them for uh, some primer and then uh, some paint work. And the paint I got for them is uh, the new ID, like the A5 and the A7. They've got these gunmetal, kind of like, they're kind of light gray. Uh, I think they call it a gunmetal gray or something like that. Um, that's the, the color of the wheels they're putting on the new IDs. So this one's a 09. Um, you know, it, it didn't come with that gunmetal one, but I've, I've seen a bunch of people uh, over in Europe will take these wheels and, and paint them that gunmetal color, and th they look pretty good. So that's what we're going to do. These are in real bad shape, so lots and lots of prep work, and then uh, I'm going to spray them, uh, clear coat them, all that stuff. Uh, I don't use anything in cans or anything like that. I go buy the proper paint and the clear. I mix my own clear and all that stuff. So this isn't like a rattle can. Uh, r r like a rattle can review or anything like that. This is um, an actual, you know, I'm going to use an actual spray gun, you know, mix my own paint, mix my own clear, all that stuff. Uh, that's probably going to be a day or two away. Uh, this will, maybe this will be part one or whatever, but uh, I'm just going to rip these off and start the, the decontamination process and the, basically the cleaning process. And then there's a bunch of filler work that's going to need to be done on every, every wheel. I mean, they're all, they're all they've all gotten road rash and stuff on them so not not from us uh, that's that's the way they were when we got them so um yeah let's get to it okay i'm about to get started on these wheels uh, i've got most of my chemical set up i'm going to use two or three different wheel cleaners a tar remover uh, a couple of different things something's popping back there um I'm going to put the camera on it and then when I, after I record I'm going to speed it up so don't bore you guys to death with me cleaning wheels, right? Uh, but if you want to know what any of the products are, just ask in the comments and I'll, 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 I'll let you know. So here it goes. Oh, and the other thing, it's 103 degrees today. So I expect to see some gravy. Okay, quick look at these after uh, they're pressure washing. They turn out okay. This, I think, is the best one. Yeah, all the tar and stuff, well, most of the tar is gone. You expect a little bit to remain. No big deal. We'll, we'll take it off. This one's not as good. You know, these guys have probably never been washed on the inside before, so. But all in all, you know, not too bad. Okay, I'm going to show you how this tool here works. Jeez, I'm no good at this. So this is basically a pinstripe remover. Uh, you can put it on a drill or anything you want. Um, but this is the, uh, the sticky uh, pads left over from like weights that have been taken off and they never removed it. Um, I already hit a couple of them. I'm just going to show you how this works. It's basically it burns off the what's there. So hopefully you can See, maybe not. Hopefully 
that came through okay. Um, but yeah, it just, you know, it's designed to just take pinstriping off, but it'll it'll do this too. It's a pretty, uh, pretty good little tool. They're cheap. The trick with that is you always want to keep it moving. Like don't just hold it somewhere because it'll it puts a fair amount of heat in. It'll uh, yeah, it'll just damage whatever you're whatever you're working on. Not that it matters here because we're going to sand these wheels, but oh uh, yeah, I've seen guys put goo gone on there and pick it off with their fingernails for like an hour and a half. Screw that. Just get get this tool right here, and yeah, two seconds and you're done. Uh, so this is a finger sander. It's air powered. Um, I've got a real, real fine uh, sanding disc on it. Jesus, I can't see the camera. Um, so it, you know, it'll take a lot to do any kind of damage with this. And then, uh, so I'm sure somebody will go nuts in the comments about this, but uh, 20,000 RPM die grinder. But I have the least abrasive disc in the world on it. Um, I'm also just gonna just tickle it. I just tickle it, nothing else. Uh, um, and then I'm going to hand sand it. So relax there, fella. It's okay. Here we go. I just want to show you guys the um, the paint that I got for these wheels. I've got the putty in there, and it's the, waiting for it to dry. But uh, it's uh, ID LY7P is the uh, is the paint code. That that's what you need. It's titanium gray metallic. Um, I'll show you the color. It's I mean it's pretty nice. If you've ever seen an ID with the, the gunmetal wheels, that that's what this is. Uh, hopefully you get a look at that. Oops, it's gonna drip. That's the color. Oh, love the smell of paint. Ooh, good stuff. Um, yeah, so, now obviously I won't be able to spray these wheels for a while. I got a ton of work to do. Um, there's a lot of spokes here, so it's the S-line wheels, so lots of sanding. Um, but hopefully tomorrow night I'll be, I'll be able to spray this. I haven't mixed the reducer in, I'm doing four wheels, right? No big deal, I don't need a ton of paint. So instead of buying a quart of paint and a, a quart of reducer, uh, it's half the price to just reduce this to you know an eighth of a quart and, and reduce it at a one-to-one -one ratio uh, right at the paint store. I think I paid $44 for this. So that's my price. Um, off the street, you may pay closer to $75, $80, uh, you know, if you didn't have a, an account with them. I got, a, I got an account with these guys, so... You get stuff a lot cheaper than, than the consumer. Um, so yeah, that's the color, that's the paint code if you want to do this yourself. You know, just you know, Google that, I'm, I'm sure you can buy it online too. Uh, I think these places are pretty expensive though. Uh, but yeah, that's the color. Lovely jubbly!